The cure for addiction is suffering. You suffer enough that something inside you goes undone. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. What's good, Digital Trap Squad? Y'all know what it is. All right, bro, look. It's a lot of stuff out here happening with the DCEU, you know, shifting to some cheers, hiring us some other people, moving up some crack narcotics. I didn't heard a lot of stories, but this one is crazy. Apparently, Ben Affleck is being offered $30 million all right, to come back and play Batman again for a collection of Crisis on Infinite Earths films in the DCEU. $30 million, I'll go murder somebody. $30 million, I'll go be a terrorist and murder a bunch of people. $30 million, you might be able to buy my soul. That's a lot of fucking money for one role as Batman. But I don't believe it. It's coming from some sketchy sources, right? Right? But then even deeper, Ben has talked about so many times how the role overwhelmed him. Talking about the attention he got, the scrutiny. Ever since this man was cast in 2014, he had this deer in the headlights look. Now, the other movie is Batman. I, you know, you have no idea how big these titles are. These movies, they're so much bigger than any other kind of movie, and everybody goes and sees it. And we all remember the moment from that Dawn of Justice interview where he was looking off to the deep end. Like, oh Lord, take my soul right now, Satan, kill me. That man was ready to go do something else. And the filming of the Josh Wheaton Justice League got this man on the bottle. The bottle, bottle, bottle. You know, that 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 third bottle, that's the third bottle too many, the third bottle where you getting ready to go be vengeance on the street, that bottle. <laughs> he started to destroy his life because he was so frustrated. I highly doubt he's coming back. Within the sound. And now I got to address the Snyder cult because y'all need to be talked to. Y'all need somebody to hold your hand and do praise and worship because these people are out here scumbagging again. There's so much talk about, oh, we care about Ray Fisher. We care about Gal Gadot. We care about Henry Calvo. We care about Affleck. And a lot of that is bullshit because they really care about the characters. I'm talking to the cult, not the cut, the cult. They only care about the actual characters and not the people. Ben Affleck damn near destroyed himself. <laughs> Pieces of his life was lost to this shit and motherfuckers are begging for him to come back. They're believing every single rumor. Take the 30 million, give him 40 million, despite him not being happy. Y'all want this man to be a retail employee where you just chained up to the system. You know, you you stuck on that time clock no matter how much you hate your job. Your feet hurt, your back is stiff, all types of shit is wrong with you, but they want him to stay anyway. They want this motherfucker to be a prisoner instead of a passenger. <laughs> That's tough. My lovely prisoner. But to end the video, let's get into some hypotheticals, right? Because only a Sith deals in absolutes. Oh, I'm spitting right now. Oh, all right, y'all, here we go. So let's say hypothetically, Ben Affleck takes the 30 million, runs the 30 million. All right, great. Now you have a situation where you'll get Crisis on Infinite Earths, which is a storyline involving numerous Earths. The multiverse is in right now, so DC will be right on point with everything that's happening in the comic book ecosystem. But that'll also mean something very interesting for Michael Keaton, since he's supposed to be the one that replaces Affleck in his universe some sort of way via Flashpoint. So I'm assuming that that's gonna be retconned. And I'm wondering how this is gonna affect the Leslie Grace Batgirl, because her version's Batman is supposed to be Keaton. So what happens to all of that? And if Affleck does come back, don't you gotta kinda in a way get Henry Cavill back? I would I would think so, you know, to just have everything the way it originally was. Hey, <laughs> these rumors are wild and your boy ain't got no time.
Do I think it's true? No, I don't. Let Ben Affleck rest. All right? My man's in his 50s, and he likes 20-year-olds. Let him rest. <laughs> Let him pop that Cialis and rest. I understand.